Hey, I'm Charlie Lovett, author of Escaping Dreamland, and today I want to share my top five Escaping Dreamland show and tell items. Number five. Like me, a lot of you probably grew up reading The Hardy Boys or Nancy Drew Mysteries. These are the books that first got me excited about reading when I saw that row of blue spines on my brother's bookshelf and the books that inspired Escaping Dreamland. But they weren't the only children's adventure series that sold jillions of copies. Which brings us to number four. When I decided I wanted to write about the people who created children's adventure series, I went to my shelf and found this book, the first volume in the Great Marvel series. Why did I have this book from 1906 on my shelf? Because it belonged to my grandfather. It inspired me to write about multi-generational passion for adventure stories in Escaping Dreamland. But it wasn't just books that were filled with adventure stories. My contemporary protagonist, Robert Parrish, discovers a clue to the mystery he's trying to solve in pulp magazines from the period. This one comes from 1926 and helped me understand the look and feel of the pulps. The title of my novel comes from a short-lived Coney Island amusement park where my heroes spend a lovely day at the end of the summer of 1906. Researching Escaping Dreamland included finding old postcards and I was thrilled to find this color card that became the basis of the cover of the book. But my number one cool show-and-tell item for Escaping Dreamland is this. Magna, Tom, and Jean travel to Coney Island on a boat run by the Iron Steamboat Company. So imagine my excitement when I found this original ticket for a ride on the Iron Steamboat and admission to Dreamland from 1906. Those are my top five Escaping Dreamland show-and-tell items. When I can get back on the road, I'll show them to you personally. But in the meantime, remember you can order Escaping Dreamland wherever books are sold.